power played a dominant role throughout the Second World War. By July 1940, Germany's air force, the Luftwaffe, had successfully led the invasion of Poland, Belgium, the Netherlands and France. The next battle was for Britain's skies. The Battle of Britain started on the 10th of July 1940 and it lasted for almost four months. It ended on the 31st of October 1940. The real point of the Battle of Britain, as far as the Germans were concerned, was to gain air superiority over the UK. With the Nazis already victorious against much of Europe, it was vital that Britain's airspace was defended. A key part of this defence was meticulously coordinated from a series of secret, strategic, underground command centres. This was the command and control centre for um, air defence in the southeast of England. It's underground because it needed to be bombproof in case of enemy attack. Um, it's also totally gasproof down here as well. And it's all designed so that whatever's happening above ground, they can carry on working uninterrupted down here. The command bunkers were mainly staffed by the women's RAF. Details of enemy forces were plotted and updated in real time so that the bunker's controller could see everything needed to coordinate the aerial defences. Now, of course, there's a lot of information being fed into here, not least amongst which is the radar information. Radar was a, a very new technology by the time of the Battle of Britain. They'd only really been experimenting with it since 1935. By the time of the Battle of Britain in 1940, we had a number of radar stations along the south and east coasts. It meant that we had an early warning, effectively, um, which was around 20 minutes of, of notice that they were on their way. That was just enough time to get our own squadron scrambled and, and to the right place to intercept them. But time really was of the essence. The controller has to make a decision pretty quickly because it can take 14 to 16 minutes for a squadron to scramble up to 20,000 feet. Any delay in his decision making means that um, potentially it's, it's too late. There were command bunkers across the UK, but during the Battle of Britain, the one in the southeast played a leading role in defending Britain's skies. All the bunkers were in charge of a diverse range of squadrons. During the Battle of Britain, a number of foreign pilots um, came over and joined the Royal Air Force. Pilots from Commonwealth countries, lots of New Zealanders, Australian, South Africans, for example. There were so many Polish pilots in particular that they set up two entirely Polish squadrons. And actually one of those 303 squadron went on to become the most successful squadron in the Battle of Britain. It shot down 126 enemy aircraft in just six weeks. Every time the RAF scrambled its squadrons, planes were shot down and lives were lost. From an estimated crew of 3,000, only around half survived the four-month battle. But for the Luftwaffe, it was even worse. Although Fighter Command had suffered some really difficult times throughout August and very early September 1940, the German Air Force had been getting progressively weaker through, that, through, through the whole battle. And really, from the middle of September onwards, it became clear that the Germans were suffering an attrition rate that they couldn't sustain, and fighter command were getting stronger. And then by the end of October 1940, the Germans have realised that any continuation of attacks during the day is, is not productive enough. They're losing too many aeroplanes and too many men that are being shot down. And so they discontinue attacks during the day, um, and they, they change over to attacking solely at night instead. And that's the beginning of the Blitz. So the Battle of Britain really sort of leads straight into the Blitz. The Battle of Britain was a turning point in the Second World War. This pivotal four-month battle could not have been won without the early warning from radar and without the diverse men and women of the RAF defending the country both from the skies and from the ground. Mm -hmm.